Coach, how have you uh, last few days been handling kind of the highs and lows of the emotional side of, of what's been going on last time you were at home? Obviously a disappointing uh, result, and then you go on the road Tuesday and, and you feel really good. So how have you kind of managed keeping everybody kind of level-headed? Yeah, I think uh, just, just what you said. I think uh, we talk about it all the time as never being too high and never being too low and never as good as you think you are when you win and never as bad as you think you are when you lose. And um, we reinforce that with this group on a on a daily basis. And I think one of the things that um, we always look at is that we start zero and zero the next game every single time, whether we've won or lost. And so um, earlier in the year, I said something about we never spend too much time feeling sorry for ourselves if we're feeling too good about ourselves. At the end of the day, um, we're going to move on pretty quickly. And, and these guys knew we, we moved on right after the game against Ohio State and started focusing on the next task. And, and that was University of Pennsylvania. And so they've got our full attention. They've had our full attention. Um, you know, we can always look back and, and wish and, and hope we would have done something differently. But um, the only it, it serves no purpose. You can't affect it. The only thing we can affect is the next game, and that's what we try to do all the time. You have a Penn team coming in here uh, tomorrow night, and, and if you look at them, they don't give up many goals at all. Um, I think they've only conceded four or five all year long. Um, do you anticipate this this back line of this kind of being a, a, a tough lock to pick? Yeah, they're a good team. Brian's done a fantastic job with this group this year. Um, they've played some good competition. Uh, it's it's going to be a big RPI game for us again. Um, but uh, it's a team that likes to play. Um, they're, they're good at keeping the ball. They're very organized in terms of their shape. Um, they've got good players who are who aren't just going to uh, smash the ball up the field and, 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 and go for a smash and grab type approach. They're, they're capable players, and, and Brian's done a good job of, of putting them together and, 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 and coaching them, and, and, and they're producing results for what they do. Um, and so, you know, Penn's got our full respect. We're not good enough to disrespect anybody, and so we won't. Um, we're going to not respect anyone. Um, we have to be humble in our approach that we're playing against good players and, 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 and a good team and, and, and take on the task as that. that they're going to they're gonna require our best effort in order to find a result and um, hopefully we can go out and deliver our best effort. Yeah. You've played them, I think, four out of the last five years or something like that, so a lot here recently, but not last year. Um, so does that, that help you in any way in terms of familiarity and things like that, or is every every team different? No, not really. I mean, uh, every, every year the teams are a little bit different. Sure, obviously you have coaches who are the same style and play the same way or the same shape or formation. Um, I think uh, what we do in terms of our, our scheduling allows us to see various different types of teams all the way through. We don't play, um, we don't play anybody weak. Um, we play different styles and in different environments and different surfaces. And uh, the schedule is built in order to prepare us for no matter who we're going to see. Um, and we haven't played them in a couple of years, but there are some tenets that are going to always be the same. They're going to be hardworking. They're going to be. Um, they're going to be a uh, organized. They're going to be a tough team to break down. And I think, uh, you know, if UPenn gives you any indication, they're all going to be pretty smart too. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, Andres, two goals, uh, two more goals, I should say, uh, on Tuesday night at Ohio State. He's got five on the year. He's kind of becoming a real um, consistent goal scorer for you. And he showed that last year at times too, I know. And, mm -hmm. and Luke's been more and more active. you got to be really happy with the offensive production out of that midfield right now. Yeah, I think uh, – we said in the beginning of the year that we believe that our system and our style of play um, helps with what we do offensively in terms of getting guys in the right spots to score goals. Um, Andres is a special player. Uh, Luke's a special player. I think um, you know what they're doing is not just a facet of, of how we play, but also they're they're both loaded with ability and skill. Um, but I think uh, as the year goes on, obviously the marking gets tighter and the scouting gets better. Um, and so we need to have, you know, a, a multifaceted attack. And I think we do. We've got a lot of different guys with points, a lot of different guys with goals. Um, but each game is different. Um, and so, you know, the, the way the opponent approaches the game, um, we've got, I, I think, guys like Andres and Luke and many others are good enough to still find a way to f affect it. Um, but I think we also need to be prepared that other guys need to step up. And the more other guys step up and score goals or get assists, the less pressure uh, they can put on to one or two or three guys on our team. Uh, and so the way we play is designed to hopefully have four, five, six guys that are going to be a threat at any one time. It makes it hard to hone in on one. Um, but certainly those guys are a big, uh, a big piece of what we do going forward. And, 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 and I think 
uh, for the two of them, uh, we need them to perform well all the time. Yeah. We're getting into the you know late September, we're getting into October almost now here next week. Do you start to now look at each game differently in terms of, you mentioned the RPI and, oh, this would be a big win or this would really help us, or is it still too early? Yeah, I don't think we'll ever really look at that. Um, you know, that takes care of itself. There's nothing we can do about the RPI. The, the formula is the formula. Um, we can't control the opponents uh, and, and who they play and, and what their results are. All we can control is what we do um, and, and hope that our, our competition is also you know, strong enough in terms of the RPI, but if, if you win the game, it doesn't matter. Um, and so from our perspective, it's really just about the opponent. Um, and, and, and even more so, it's more so about us and, and really just focusing on what we need to do to get the result, what we need to do to find to find a victory and um, let the other, you know, let the chips fall where they may as far as everything else is concerned. So um, if we do our job, we figure that the numbers will take care of itself. And so we don't really think about the numbers a whole lot.